Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival is celebrating 12 years. And to walk us through the tremendous growth and progress that they've seen is the founder himself, Mr. Bruce Paddington. Good morning and welcome. Morning. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to <coughs> have you on us, especially in two weeks' time, you all will be having an opening at Napa. So we'd like to talk about that a little bit. Tell us about that. Well, it's in exactly two weeks, Tuesday the 19th. Um, it's going to be the first of eight days of activities. Um, we're opening at Napa for the first time. Um, this is going to be a tremendous occasion because we're showing Green Days by the River. It's going to be the world premiere of that film. That film, as you know, is based upon the famous book by Michael Anthony. It's a classic, a Caribbean classic. It's used in schools. Um, we're hoping for a fantastic turnout. And, and, and the film is really good. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people think, well, it's a local film, it can't be good. No, it's, 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 it's as good as any international film. And it's uh, all Trini production, Trini, yeah. Trini actors, Trini writer, um, and the director and the producer, uh, Michael Monadar is the director, Christian James is the producer. They got their um, degrees in film from UE, mm -hmm. and I was privileged to teach them. Yes. So, um, so that's going to be a great way of, of kicking off the festival. And you're very proud, I'm sure. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was so pleased. I said, please, please make sure it's good. I want the film to be good. Yeah. And it was. Yeah. I mean, it is. <laughs> and, and, and it's always nice to start at a, at a, and starting at a local festival. I mean, we're very honored. Yeah. That, and we, we can show a local film. We did the same thing last year, so it's a bit of a tradition. So I hope that every year we can find a, a local film that is worthy of being an opening film. Yeah. Um, last year we showed Play the Devil um, by Maria Govan and Abigail Hadid. Um, we, last year we showed The Cutlass, yes. which I think you, it yes. has been in cinemas. Mm -hmm. So this year, we're, um, Green, Green Days by the Rivers, we'll be going to cinemas after um, the, the festival. And I'm hoping that some of the other films um, are also going to get a th theatrical and what, television release. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's one called Moko Jumbi mm -hmm. by Vashti Anderson. I wanted to Seekers. ask you about that. Tell us about Moko Jumbi. It's, it's, it's a kind of coming home story. Um, it, it was a low budget film, but it's very beautifully made. The, the, um, the director, Vashti Anderson, is half Trini, half American, a Trini American. And but she, in many ways, the film is an autobiographical film about maybe a, a young young woman mm -hmm. living in, in the States, living away and wanting to come back home and seeing changes. Um, it also has folklore elements. So Green Days um, and, and Moko Jambi are two must, film, uh, must films to see. Um, Was it filmed both in Trinidad and Tobago? No, no. Both these films, unfortunately, were, were, were um, set, not unfortunately, they were set in, in Trinidad. But we always show, we have at least one or two um, films from Tobago. Right. And we always show our films in Tobago as well. Great. And this year we're at five venues. Um, we're at <coughs> our main venue, I would call it, would be Port of Sp Movie Town Port of Spain in, in Invaders Bay. But we're also in Tobago, in the, um, in the movie town in Tobago. We're, um, for the first year, we're at the C3. Yeah, C3. C3 yes, Plaza um, <laughs> Mall or whatever. Yes. Um, so we're, we're, You're excited we're, about that. We're really excited yeah. because people say, oh, South people don't like what's going on in North and vice versa. And we say, no, it's, this is one country. Yeah. And if, if people in Port of Spain love the festival, and, uh, and people in San Fernando will love it too. So we're really excited about that. Um, and we're showing Green Days and Moko Jumbi. We're showing both of them in, in, in San Fernando. And it's for eight days and it starts on it's, the 19th. Well, the first day is the gala opening. Yes. And then, so it's really like the 20th to the 26th. So it's seven days of, of film screenings. And then we have two other venues. Um, we have UE. And, we, and UE and, and the film festival has always been very close. Mm -hmm. um, at the, at, I taught there up to a couple of years ago, so I have very close links and relationship with the UE film program. And so we always show uh, um, a, a number of, of, of the best or some of the most interesting programs we show at UE for the students. And, and the ones at UE are free of charge, so, they're pop so that makes them extra popular. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we have 
a series of films dealing mainly with women's issues um, at the Hyatt. Um, and we have links with the UE Center for Gender is it a, more do a documentary type? or No, we have documentaries. I, I, yeah, I, we have some documentaries. Mm -hmm. We have one about gay pride parades right. in, in, um, in, in Inuit in North Canada, which mm -hmm. is kind of an unusual film. Um, we have, but we have dramatic, which is a documentary, but we have dramas as well. Um, we have a, a couple of films we had shown in the past, and they were so popular that we, we brought them back. Uh, one called Mustang, which is a wonderful film for everybody to see. And then we have a, a conference dealing with the issue of women in film, because that is a, a big issue internationally, that uh, women still are underrepresented in, in, in directing, in, in screenwriting, in, in producing films. Um, so Hyatt is, is another venue. And then even at Movie Town um, uh, Invaders Bay, we have two screens. So when you arrive, so even though we're not on for two weeks as we used to be, we're showing about the same number of films. We're showing over a hundred films. Um, we received submissions of two or three hundred, so we had to pare it down to a hundred. So we, we we've chosen a hundred of the most relevant, most important, best um, in our minds of <laughs> films, and um, but it, the, the week is going to go really fast. And so we really suggest that, that, that people look out for the films, come and uh, spend a day in, in South or in Tobago or in Trinidad, seeing, or in Port of Spain, seeing the films. Already one person came up to me and said she took a week off work mm -hmm. to, in order to see the films wow. because yeah. we have films from 11 to 11. And, um, and, and obviously we want people to come out during the day as well as in the evening. That's very encouraging feedback that you're getting so far. No, it's, it's great. I mean, we're, we couldn't have done it without the public attending the films, their, their, their incredible enthusiasm for the films. And it, it makes us so happy because, as, you, as I mentioned earlier, some people think, oh, if it's local, it doesn't mean it's going to be good. But these films are, are, are great films, really well-crafted films, well-scripted, well-acted. Um, you have over 100 films. Over 100. A lot of content. What's your vision? Where, where do you want to take it? Television, perhaps? Well, what I would like is, is for the festival to be a catalyst for the films to then go on to the cinemas or to the TV stations. So the TV program directors should all be coming to see the films to select the ones that they want to show on their station. And TTT, make, perhaps. And TTT, <laughs> definitely. I, I don't know who is the program director, but the program director should be there every day, viewing films, making notes, getting the names of the, of, of the directors and the producers, making deals, making arrangements um, to she show the films or to commission those same talented directors to, 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 make, to be commissioned to make films for the station. And it's not just Trinidad films. It's, it, it's, it's from Barbados. It's from Jamaica. It's from the oh, wider Caribbean, it's, it's from Venezuela, it's from Chile. It's, um, we have a very global view of the Caribbean. It includes the diaspora in the States and in, in Canada and in England. Um, and as you know, the Caribbean and Latin America are very close together. So, um, you know, so Costa Rica is our country of focus this year. And people don't realize that in Costa Rica, they have a Caribbean coast. People in Costa Rica, not everybody, but a large number speak English. Yeah. So Costa Rica is like a perfect partner. Last year we, we, we worked very closely with Colombia. Next year maybe it will be, I'm not sure where. So it's, it's very an exciting lineup of films um, that showcase the talented people of the Caribbean. And, 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 and the purpose is not just to celebrate films, which is part of our purpose. Um, the purpose is also to help to build a local film, a local and Caribbean film industry. So we have industry days. We, um, we, um, in, in, uh, we have seminars and workshops and panel discussions mm -hmm. about co-productions, about financing, about yes. distribution. Um, so this is a time when filmmakers can come and learn how to promote their films. We, we have a, a, a panel dealing with, or a presentation dealing with, the selling of Cutlass. So Cutlass has done very well, mm -hmm. and it's been shown in the cinemas. So how did all that happen? 
how was Cutlass marketed. So that is one of the sessions we have. And all the industry sessions are free of charge, and they're at the Hyatt. And they start actually from Thursday, Friday, a whole day on women in film, right. Saturday, industry. Sunday, we have a presentation by the Canadians on dealing with the gay pride yes. in, the, in the North, North Territories mm -hmm. of Canada. Um, we have a film dealing with a, 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 a woman agitator, a trade unionist, um, feminist from, uh, from Panama called Mata Morris. So there's a whole array of exciting things to do, and we really want people to turn out. And it's free of charge, you said? Well, all, all at the Hyatt and at UWE it's free of charge. Right. At the movie towns, um, the, the, the movie town, yeah, we, we, yeah, there yeah. is a fee for that. Now, I understand um, you have a press conference this morning to talk about sponsorship. We That's have a press conference at 10 o'clock mm -hmm. at the Hyatt. This is like officially launching the festival because it's happening in two weeks today. Um, and again, we could not have done this, if, I mean, everybody says it, but we could not have done it without the sponsors, which is really true. Yes. Um, and, we, and we've been saved by having the most loyal sponsor in Flo. Um, and they've been with it. This is their 10th year, so hopefully they are celebrating as we are celebrating. <laughs> and it, it makes sense for Flo that is, is produ not producing, but is distributing a lot of content for them also to support a Caribbean film festival, so we are so we are um, so we are honouring um, our sponsors like Flow, like BP, TT, like the Ministry of Arts and Culture and Community Development, and many many others who uh, uh, have made this thing this this event possible. And we also have so much help from the embassies. Um, they have gone out of their way to send us their professionals to run workshops um, or to send us films. That, 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 that. So that has been great as well. So um, um, it's going to be a, a great festival to a great press conference to kick off yes. a great festival. Well, it was a pleasure having you this morning and best of luck and Thanks congratulations on your 12th year. Hope to see you there. <laughs> All right. <laughs>